हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट द स्टडी अबाउट अवर न्यू सब्जेक्ट डॉट नेट इन अ फोर्थ सेमेस्टर सो डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन अबाउट द सिलेबस रिगार्डिंग डॉट नेट प्रैक्टिकलीशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर वन introduction to microsoft dot net framework and basics of vb dot net vb is nothing but this is our language visual basic dot net uh, so what is dot net first of all dot net is our language such a uh, you all already studied in a previous semester two different types of languages learn like c language C++ plus plus language. Now, in this sem uh, semester, we are going to study about a new language such as a Visual Basic .dot net, VB .dot net language. So, this is our syllabus uh, from the chapter number one. First of all, overview of Microsoft .dot net framework. .dot net is uh, nothing but uh, such type of a uh, language. Uh, which is a uh, developed by microsoft so first of all we have to study overview about microsoft dot net framework then the dot net framework components then clr it means common language runtime this is a core component of our dot net framework uh, and such as uh, this is also known as a uh, engine such a core component Uh, of the dot net framework architecture then dot net framework class library then getting started with visual basic dot net ide ide is nothing but integrated development environment uh, ide contain a uh, various types of visual basic language concept uh, such as uh, variables constant data types operators Control structures and loops, array, uh, array container, single array and multi-dimensional array, declaration about array, dynamic array. So in this chapter, uh, we have to study these all topic. Once again, revise overview of Microsoft .dot net framework, .dot net framework component, common language runtime, .dot net framework class library. getting started with visual basic dot net ide visual basic language concept such as a variable constant data types operator control structure loops array contain a single and multi dimensional array declaration of array and dynamic array so uh, first of all uh, listen to all we have to uh, study already the concept regarding variable data types operators control structures control structures nothing but a various types of loop a while loop do while loop for loop for each loop then control structure also contain a statement like a if statement if else statement nested if statement then we have already seen in a previous video lecture series arrays such as a single array multi dimensional array declaration of array dynamic array but now in this semester once again revise this all topic with a new language so uh, is semester mein aap logo ko ye sabhi topics fir se study karna hai lekin aap logo ne jo ye topic study kiya hua hai previous semester mein वो सी लैंग्वेज में स्टडी किया है सी प्लस प्लस में स्टडी किया है बट नाउ इन दिस सेमेस्टर अँ आ सेमेस्टर में एक नवाज लैंग्वेज अंदर तेरे आ बदाज कंसेप्ट स्टडी करवाना है सो इन दिस सेमेस्टर वी हैव टू स्टडी दिस ऑल टॉपिक्स विथ न्यू लैंग्वेज सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ओवरव्यू ऑफ विज्युअल स्टूडियो डॉट नेट सो वॉट इज अ विज्युअल स्टूडियो विज्युअल स्टूडियो इज a software for performing program of the dot net language 
वंस अगेन विजुअल स्टूडियो इज सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर परफॉर्मिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ डॉट नेट वैन एवर वी परफॉर्म सी लैंग्वेज एंड सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्राम विथ टर्बो सी सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हियर डॉट नेट प्रोग्राम परफॉर्म विथ विजुअल स्टूडियो सॉफ्टवेयर मीन्स आप लोगों ने सी लैंग्वेज और सी प्लस प्लस में जो प्रोग्राम परफॉर्म किया है उसमें आप लोगों ने देव सी प्लस प्लस आइधर आप लोगों ने टर्बो सी प्लस प्लस सॉफ्टवेयर का यूज़ किया हुआ है लेकिन इधर डॉट नेट के जो प्रोग्राम है उसको हम किस सॉफ्टवेयर में परफॉर्म करेंगे तो विजुअल स्टूडियो में तो विजुअल स्टूडियो डॉट नेट इज अ कम्प्लीट पैकेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट टूल्स फॉर अ डेवलपिंग वेब एप्लीकेशन सच एज अ डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एंड एक्सेट्रा सो वेन एवर वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट डॉट नेट प्रोग्राम देन वी हैव टू यूज द विजुअल स्टूडियो फॉर परफॉर्मिंग अ प्रोग्राम अबाउट अ डॉट नेट लैंग्वेज एंड इज अ कम्प्लीट पैकेज ऑफ डेवलपमेंट टूल्स फॉर अ डेवलपिंग वेब एप्लीकेशन सच एज अ डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एंड एक्सेट्रा एंड प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो ऑल्सो कॉल्ड विजुअल स्टूडियो डॉट नेट include this type of different programming language here visual basic language visual c has it's known as a shirsha visual c++ language and visual f# sharp language so in semester mein hame jo study karna hai wo hai visual basic hum is language ko ab study karenge in semester mein here the features of dot net so rich set of classes it contain hundreds of classes and namespace object oriented project system as well as we can also say object oriented programming system it supports ops concept automatically memory management it means garbage collector free unused object for a regular interval then multi languages and multi device support it means it supports multiple languages and multiple devices and Uh, faster easy development for a uh, web application and it is useful for developing dynamic and databases related web application and it is also support extended markup language xml for writing manipulating and transforming for the xml document so this is the features about dot net and this concept is very most ampy concept regarding gtu exam and this concept is again and again asked in gtu exam having two marks either three marks next uh, this figure is a very most ampy figure for the gtu exams once again this concept is very most 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 ampy for the, our university exam so uh, draw the figure about dot net framework so here is the figure for the dot net framework so first of all uh, this is nothing but languages portion so first language visual basic dot net language c++ language c sharp language j sharp language so first is nothing but our language portion and then this language portion all contain in common language specification so this portion is our one component of the dot net framework is cls it means common language specification then asp dot net web services web form and windows form then next edo dot net and xml edo is nothing but active data object it's a same like a database so database is nothing but it store the data about a client as well as we can also say user so edo is our database connectivity then base class library is nothing but a collection of various type of file and classes then we can say base class library and base class library is also known as a fcl it means framework class library then common language runtime is a very most amp component for the dot net framework CLR is a core com component of the dot net framework and as well as we can also say this is the engine of the dot net framework then operating system and here here is the visual studio dot net so this is the figure about dot net framework
and this is very most IMP topic for the GTO exam. The content about this uh, .NET framework figure. So .NET framework is a platform that provides tools and technologies to develop Windows, Web and Enterprise application. And it mainly contains two components. First, common language runtime as a CLR and .NET framework class library AppCL. जे यहीं हमें तमने base class library कहूँ चाहे अने आपने सु कहीं सके चे second framework class library. So CLR and FCL is a, a most IMP component and as well as we can also say about this type of component is a core component of our .NET framework. Why? Because it provide tools and technology to develop web application, window application and also enterprise application. आपने जारे कोई browser नी अंदर साइट जो ये चिये तो ये साइट नी अंदर तमने मेनूज जो आ मड़े चे various types of tools जो आ मड़े चे तो कई रिते develop थाई चे कई रिते publish थाई चे एनी designing कई रिते थाई चे तो एनू जे base चे ये आपने कौन provide कर चे .NET framework next CLR this topic is very most IMP topic having a three marks again and again asked in GTU exam. So, dear a student, you have to study with a focus on the CLR, common language runtime. So, it provides an environment to run all the .NET programs. The code which run under the CLR is called a managed code. And if the code is not under the CLR, then it's known as an unmanaged code. Programs need not to worry and managing the memory if the program are running under the CLR. It means it's a safe as it provides memory management and thread management. When our program need memory, then CLR allocate the memory for scope and deallocate the memory if the scope is completed. So these all very uh, very advantages about the CLR core component for the .NET framework. Uh, dear all students, don't worry. Our subject tamara mathe nauche, our language tamara mathe navi chale. Thodu tamne samajhwa mat tough lags hai. But tamhe ane concentration saathhe hu. Je study karau chhu, ema focus rakso. To tamne easily I avdi jasa our subject. Ane ane apne practically video pon hu tamne batai. Ki ane practically perform kai rite kai karai chhe. Uh, ama data types kai rite use chai chhe. Ani header line je rite tamhe library function use karo chhu. Uh, एवी रिते जे आनी अंदर यूज करवानू छे जे लाइब्रेरी फंक्शन नी जगे आपने नेम स्पेस नो यूज करी सु तो नेम स्पेस सु छे डेटा टाइप कई रिते डिक्लेयर थाई छे आमा फोर लूप नो यूज कई रिते थाई छे आमा व्हाइल लूप कई रिते यूज थाई छे इफ स्टेटमेंट इफ एल स्टेटमेंट नो यूज कई रिते थाई छे ए दरेक आपने प्रैक्टिकली परफॉर्मेंस साथे आगणना जे वीडियो लेक्चर आवसे एमा जोईसु हियर वन इज अ फिगर अबाउट सीएलआर Common language runtime. So this figure is a CLR figure. So first of all, here given a VB.NET and compiler. Compiler is nothing but compiler no meaning so thai che load karwanu. Program ne load karine agar execution taraf mokli apvanu kam kare che. Here one is a C sharp and C sharp compiler. Here one MSIL is very most IMP for the G2 exam. MSIL no full form par exam ma pucha hai che. So Microsoft Intermediate Language. And then MSIL converted every programming code into native code. So native code ni anta convert karwanu kaam kaun kare che? JIT compiler. Once again, whenever we have to write the program uh, using a... Visual Studio software then MSIL code converted into native code using JIT compiler just in time. JIT compiler means just in time. So JIT compiler ka work kya hai? MSIL code hai uska native code mein convert karta hai. Kon? JIT compiler. Once again, JIT compiler kya karta hai? Jo hamara programming code hai, wo Microsoft Intermediate Language mein hai, usko native code mein convert kwaan karta hai? Just in time. So, this concept is very most IMP concept for the CLR. Next, Net Framework Class Library. Uh, hum ek real time example dekhenge. Uh, for example, library means what? Uh, library 
is nothing but which place container different types of books classes files every everyone store at a time at a one place then we called as a library so library means what it is a collection of classes file and then it uh, collect uh, methods also at a time then we can say it's a library so same like concept here this is a called as a base class library it is a common for all types of application the way to access the library classes and methods in vb.net will be the same in c sharp and it is a common for all other language in a .net .net support of 44 types of language uh, and 44 and also 44 greater language support for the .NET framework. So the class library consists of data classes, XML classes, window form classes, waveform classes, input output classes, so and so. So here the example about framework class library is a system dot input output and system dot data is nothing but our class library. And here one system dot input output is we can also say a namespace for our programming. So here one is system dot out dot data. Uh, sorry, system dot input output and system dot data is our namespace as well as we can also say about the class library for the dot net framework. Next, MSIL, Microsoft Intermediate Language. So it is also known as a common intermediate language. And uh, it is a CPU independent instruction set in which .NET framework programs are compiled. And it contains instruction set for loading, storing and initialization. And just in time is a compiler. It does not compile whole program each time. So it contain only that portion of the program which function are called that time. So if a native code is already present then data will not compile again. Garbage collection. Garbage collection is nothing but collect the wastage. Like a J wastage no collect courage and after garbage collection courage. So it is a mechanism that allows the computer to detect when an object cannot be accessed. Then automatically free up the memory used by that object. The CLR's garbage collector manage the allocation and release of memory for the application. Common language specification, it uh, in includes basic languages features needed by almost all the applications. It provides guidelines for a library writer and compiler writer and it is subset of CTS. CTA is nothing but common type specification. CLS is a common language specification. CLR means common language runtime. This all component uh, store in one our .NET framework. Next common type specification. Common type specification is support as a data type of the data. So it support two types of value type and reference type. So value type store directly data on stack and hold the data within its own memory location. For example short, integer, long. Then reference type store a reference to the values memory address and it allocate on the heap assembly it is a logical unit which contain metadata msil code manifest and resources and dot net framework class library is a collection of namespaces we have already seen uh system dot data and system dot input output we can also say uh, say as a namespaces so it is a used with import keyword okay Dear all students, I hope you all easily understand about uh, this all topic from the PPT video lecture. Uh, so dear all, you have to write this all topic in your assignment book and make a PDF and upload on a Google Classroom. Okay, thank you. And once again, if anyone have a doubt, then please comment on Google Classroom.
okay and you have to upload uh, your pdf on a google classroom before a 6 pm as well as 7 pm okay thank you